Moving from one Zigbee dongle to another is scary and I of course understand that. I live in a small apartment and I have up to I think 50 Zigbee devices all connected and they work great. However, if you saw my last video, I want to achieve multiband compatibility which is Zigbee and Thread working simultaneously. And I also want to move over Ethernet based dongles. So let's get going. So here we have our custom made NAS server which runs our almost Docker, a unified Dream router or Dream machine, I don't remember the exact name, which unfortunately doesn't have power over Ethernet but it's okay. Here we have the SkyConnect and for the curious ones out there, this is the ESP32 which I run my Bluetooth BLE proxy on. Very convenient, very cheap by the way. So let's go ahead and connect already Ethernet port on this wonderful dongle and the power via USB-C. So here we are, here are all of my devices that I'm hoping to not lose today. One of the biggest fears of user and rightfully so when migrating from one Zigbee adapter to another is having to repair all of their devices. Well, it so happened that Zigbee to MQTT has a nice documentation for that, listing every scenario so that you know if you have to repair or not. In my case, the SkyConnect and the Dongle Max are both based on Ember. And here it's written, when the serial adapter in the configuration diamond is Z-Stack or Ember and the serial adapter stay the same, repairing is not required. So technically, I wouldn't need to do almost anything. So let's Let's go to the Dongle Max webpage here and give this bad boy a fixed IP address. Okay, so perfect, it's here, let's go settings and fixed IP address, apply changes. Now, if I go back on the web administration interface on the Dongle Max and I go to Zigbee to MQTT and I click on TCP connection, I just need to change the IP address. So I'm not gonna put the DNS address here, I'm gonna go with the fixed IP address to make sure that everything works correctly. And by opening the configuration diamond of the Zigbee to MQTT software or directly on my system if it's as an add-on, just gonna replace the port here hit save. Then we just need to go on Zigbee to MQTT and press restart. Then you just need to do one thing that everyone does in computer science, which is praying. Okay, going back on the dongle interface, TC connected for just right now. Let's try and see Zigbee to MQTT if it works. Okay, apparently it didn't crash. Here we have the coordinator Amber. I'm definitely gonna unplug OM Assistant dongle here. All right, opening OM Assistant. Apparently we have the values here, which come from Zigbee sensors. Just to be sure, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a few things. Let's try the accessories here. It works. Trying this button, which I pair to turn on the TV, and it works. Now trying to set the mood with this works great as well. So that's pretty amazing. So far it's a great success, no repairing required at all. And now we're going to move on and try to have both Zigbee and Thread at the same time. See you soon.